Well, so, so who, who taught you? Who set you? Was there someone that set you down and was like, like, did you have a mentor that was like, hey, you know, this is how you should uh, no, I don't know. I don't know if I had a mentor. I just, I was always like my brokest friend. So I was like always that dude willing to do anything for You're five the bucks. You're rich guy. You just taught yourself how to do it. I, I, once I started to make money, uh, I never had money, but once I started to make money, I, I mean, I call it a blessing, call it a blessing in disguise. I started, I, my first year of business that I actually started like in this same business, financial sales, I made yeah. five grand in one year. People okay. were like, how's that even possible? I was crashing on couches. I was investing my time. I knew that if I started a deal, it would take three to six months to even get funded. It was an investment in myself. F first year, five, uh, five grand. Second year, I made a hundred grand. Sick. Talk, yeah. The most I ever made in my life in my early twenties was twenty five grand. Before that, okay. Yeah. Now I got a hundred grand. What am I gonna do with this shit right now? Boom! Financial meltdown, two thousand eight. Ah. Okay. You had a we used to, we used to do business with uh, Lehman Brothers. We had funding from Bear Stearns, out of business, gone. People that we had set up fund relationships with, done. We got no funding. Credit, squeeze, gone, buy. <laughs> my, my, uh, my mentor, my business partner, now he's now my business partner, he was driving a sick Mercedes, trades it in for an Audi. He's like, I can't afford this shit anymore. Right, right. Companies get laid off. If you don't learn from that, you ain't going to learn from nothing. So I realized, at, you know, 27 years old, I made 100 grand, 28 almost, and I'm like... Yeah, I'm going to save this. Yeah. I'm going to save this. Um, and then when I started to make more money and more money and I'm attending meetings and I'm networking and I'm in this, in this world of financial advisors and wealth planners and estate planners, something that I've always done is ask questions. I've always been very curious. Hey, well, 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 let me ask you about this. Hey, about that, let me ask you. Like I, I'm on the PBD podcast. Yeah. I'm not the most opinionated person on the podcast. I'm the person asking a lot of questions. Hey, Danielle, you're an economist. Let me ask you uh, why this is a big deal about this uh, Evergrande situation in China. Never heard of them, quite frankly. But if, is this going to affect us here in America? Could you answer that? Hey, BizDoc, you've had an exit where you've made a couple million dollars. You've you know, has built a billion-dollar brand. Can I ask you a question? Hey, PBD, you've built a massive insurance company. You've built a massive media company. Can I ask you a question? Two ears for a reason over here. One stupid mouth in, in, my, in the middle of my face. Bingo. Anyway, so I, that's a, that was always my thing. I always I would ask people. And that's how I started my show, Sauce Talks Money. I didn't say, I didn't start saying, this is what you need to know about money. I have all the answers. What the hell do I know? Yeah. 30 something years old, I just started making money. What the hell do I know? What I started doing was asking every single financial advisor the same question. If you could give one piece of advice to millennials, what's the one piece of advice you would ask? Right. And they would answer it. Eight out of 10 say save that money. Yeah. Eight out of 10. There are obviously people that starts with a budget. You got to invest, index funds. This is pre crypto, but save that goddamn money. Yeah. And I just, and I opened my eyes. If you enjoyed that short clip from the Sawscast, click here to watch another. Click here to watch the full episode or just stay broke. <laughs>